This is one of the glitchiest corner routes in Madden 23. What's good YouTube? My name is Cody. Wanted to welcome you to the channel here. We do videos every day uh, just to help people get better at the game, kind of break down little offensive tips, defensive tips. And a uh, tip I got for you today is out of the West Coast playbook, out of the Gun Bunch. If you guys want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, go ahead and make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you get access to all my ebooks, offensive and defensive ebooks. Uh, the Patreon is linked in the description. And it's only $10 to become a member. And like I said, you get access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that come out while your membership is active. So the play is stick out of the gun bunch, and we're going to be showing you why this is one of the better corner routes in the game. Now, to make this corner route really powerful, I would really recommend go ahead and put your best route runner or someone with short and elite at the outside bunch receiver position. And like I said, the play is stick. Okay, so uh, the setup is very simple. It's a quick snap play. What's good about bunch, and one of the many things that's good about bunch, is the fact that it has really good plays that you can just make one hot route and snap the ball super quickly, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna snap, we're gonna streak the slot corner or slot receiver, and then we're just gonna snap the ball. Now the main route on the play is the corner route. What you're gonna see is this is a sharp cutting corner route, and you see how it kind of loops around, and then it kind of like, it's almost like, it literally the way the, the route runs, it runs kind of like a rounded out route. So if you take a look here at Chris Godwin, you're going to see this little interaction. So most corner routes, like right here, he would he's cutting, but watch how he kind of like this 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 little step right here, right there. See that that little jab step inside that makes this a really good route, and it rounds out, and this DB just kind of gets lost, and so I can free form the ball, you know, over to the outside shoulder of the of the wide receiver and he's going to make this little catch on the sideline for a big play okay so again you'll see how consistent this is this will happen every single time he loops around i throw that and you see how quick how quick hitting this play is now another thing that you have access to with this is when you streak your slot receiver a lot of people are right now are shading their coverage underneath you're going to notice that my tight end quick to the flat is going to get a natural pick and rub out of this play if they do press and I can hit him quick to the flat so this is basically a better variation in my opinion this year or more Madden 23 friendly uh, variation of the play corner strike which the West Coast bunch does have corner strike but this play uh, to me just really breaks down coverage uh, really really well so again just he's gonna round out and you can throw that uh, free form. Now you might need to work on your pass lead with this. Um, different quarterback releases are gonna trigger uh, different animations. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. But all in all, you know, this is such a simple play, but man, is it effective. And you're gonna be able to beat man in zone really, really well. So as you see right there, that's one of the ways that we can beat man. Um, another route on this play that beats man is this little quick slant right there. You just want to hit that real quick. Uh, so if their user runs to the bunch side, which rarely happens, but if they do, then we can throw this little access. I call it access throw, meaning I'm going to peek it. If I have access to throw it, I'll throw it. If I don't, then I'm going to, okay, come back over here and probably hit my, you know, my corner route to, to Godwin. Now, how does this play work against zone coverage? Um, you want to run this to the short side of the field, and the reason why is because when you run this play to the short side of the field, this um, Scotty Miller on the streak will be better for clearing out this corner route uh, just because the way the, the zones work in this game. Short side floods actually are probably better than wide side floods this year, especially from compression. So you see here, he'll clear out the zone. Zones really struggle in this game to get outside. I actually have noticed it might even be worse on the short side. So if they're not base aligned and they are in zone coverage, it's almost impossible for a zone coverage to stop this. Because you see, they have a curl flat there, but he can't get out field because they, they drift outside so slowly in this game. So if you want to play zone, really a better strategy would be to go ahead and base a line. Now, I will say if it's a base aligned cloud, you're going to notice that this corner route um, actually kind of gets bagged by a base aligned cloud. However, the thing that you have in this play 
is you have this quick throw flat that's going to be open. So if they're in this baseline cloud or even in just whatever, cover two, we're going to just take our little flat. And it's really important with this play in particular to take that read because let's say that they're in cover two uh, and let's say they take this guy and they put him on a hard flat. I want to show you something. So you'll see here um, he's actually fairly slow at getting out there. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind uh, with this play. Now, another thing that you have uh, specifically, let's say that they run something like this, then your uh, streak to Scotty Miller will clear out some space for me to hit that route. Now, obviously, they're probably going to use her that. And realistically, if they call cover to Mabel, this play's kind of dead. But it's going to open up other things for our offense, of course. So if they're in a base alignment, I probably honestly wouldn't call this play. If I see base align and I'm, I'm anticipating this potential, uh, potentially cover two, then I would want to check into the play four verticals. And then what you'll see here is this wheel route will clear that zone and you can throw that over the top for a big game. Okay, so that's how I would use this play. Um, it really does a, a good job of attacking uh, cover three, cover four, cover two. There's a lot you could do with this corner route this year, um, but you see just how consistent this is against zone. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what zone they have. If they are not base aligned, and I'll show you even a cover two, like if they're not base aligning the cover two, you'll notice that this cloud will really struggle to get outside. And I can just freeform that up the field and have a big play against cover two. So it's a really, really good, really, really good concept for beating everything except for a baseline cover two. And then you, in that situation, you know, you might want to audible over to verticals and then, you know, attack the defense that way. So really fun little play here. Uh, so I think stick is super underrated this year. I do think it's one of the better plays in the game. And there's a lot that you can do with it. This is just a simple quick snap setup that is really, really effective because from this formation, we have a really powerful corner out from the slot receiver. We now have a really powerful corner out from the outside bunch receiver to go inside with all the other things that we have in the West Coast, making this one of the best offenses in the game. And if you want to learn exactly how to run this, I would really encourage you to get my West Coast Offensive eBook. And if you want to do that, you can head down to the description below and click the link to go join my Patreon because Patreon members get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.